big theme right now is to try to reach out and see if there's other people with information, find out what they know. So let me start quickly with my idea on the transmitter. This is gonna be pretty caveman, but I think what we can do is go back about 100 years to when people were using just spark gap transmitters. A spark gap transmitter is a rudimentary communication system similar to a telegraph. When somebody pushes the key down for like Morse code, it'll send high voltage to here, it'll charge up this capacitor. When the capacitor gets high enough voltage, it'll break down across the spark gap and a big noisy To get the transmitter up and running, John will need to build four main components. First, he'll create a capacitor, a device that stores electrical energy. Second, he'll build a spark gap, a mechanism that will activate the stored energy. Third, he'll assemble a transformer to turn the electrical energy into radio waves. And finally, he'll wire up an antenna to broadcast the radio waves over the AM band. So anybody who's listening would hear it, they'd recognize it as code. The spark gap transmitter is the most primitive means of radio communication. It was the primary means of communication between ships in the 1900s. If the transmitter works, the colonists will also need a receiver to hear messages from anyone who responds. Rocket scientist Morgan is in charge of the design. The receiver is actually pretty simple. Um, we're going to have the antenna here. It's going to come down to an, uh, an induction coil, insulated wire around some kind of plastic bottling, and then here, We'll put the, uh, the headphones. We should be able to hear this transmitter running on the receiver, and we'll tell them, you know, come back to us at this time, and we should be able to tune the receiver in here. The Colony, the daring new survival experiment. Tuesdays at 10, only on Discovery.